Kadi Primary School has returned to accommodating 80% of learners to classrooms. The most critical phases, which include foundation phase and grade 7, will be prioritized. Minister Muchecha says the curriculum for the two phases will have to be completed by the end of this academic year. This, while some grades will rotate, where full attendance won't be feasible. The other problem, the challenge they have, it's actually now classroom. Because if they're all here and we've broken them into smaller groups, it means there's need for more teachers. And that's why I have to quickly get pressure to, teach, to help with the teacher assistants, to make sure that we have teacher assistants who can help them whilst they are social distancing. So we're working on those measures. We've given, <coughs> I'm told, MEC has given them up to the 10th. We've given ourselves up to the end of this month. So far, the Free State Province has vaccinated more than 90% of teachers and support staff. The minister has also visited special schools to interact with learners. The department says that they are working around the clock to ensure that this academic year is not lost. We are looking at various ways to ensure that our children continues to be motivated. And I don't know whether you have picked up also with this concept that we have of talking walls. That uh, we want even our children, when they are outside, they can continue to learn. And this is where the minister is going to help us with teaching assistants. Because they don't have to be teachers to teach children to show them that that is R, A, E, O, U there. The teaching and learning assessment drive continues in other provinces. Apumelele Mdalane, SABC News, Bloomfontein.